Welcome to Maida Vale, central London, one of London's more desirable neighborhoods. The kind of neighborhood where you're going to need two million US dollars to buy an apartment or a house. And this is where Abdel Barry grows up. And as you can see, it's not exactly the Bronx 1977. Which then raises the question, how did he turn into a serial killing, beheading executioner? By any definition, his upbringing is comfortable. So how does he transform into effectively a serial killer? Is he being controlled through MI5, just like his father? Is he a genuine ISIS fighter on the battlefield? Or is he actually Jihadi John, the well-spoken, well-educated person of the videos? Now, whilst we know that some of London's top public schools have had ex-pupils show up on the battlefields of Syria, and we also know that MI5 has been using radical Islam and gang culture as a recruiting ground, within these two parameters, more or less anything is possible. And the logistics of getting from the United Kingdom to the battlefields of Syria has never been easier. So Abdel Barry ditches his rap career and boards a flight for Turkey. But he wouldn't have been alone. He probably would have been traveling with at least one or two other contacts. Because according to the Metropolitan London Police, up to five jihadis a week are leaving from the United Kingdom alone. Now, I don't know about you, but I would have thought it would have been fairly easy to spot these kind of people at the airport. 